don't believe I've gone over arrays in past videos, and if I have, I just touched on them very briefly. Uh, so I'm going to touch on them very briefly again here. Uh, and basically an array is a variable that contains more than one piece of information. Uh, and the way you set it is very similar to how you set a regular variable. Uh, I'm just going to call this array names. And then to indicate that it is a variable or an array, we use these square brackets and we give it a number. And I'm just going to start at one and work my way up. They don't have to go in order, but you'll see for what we're doing, it makes sense to go in order. So I'm going to say names one equals, and I'll just put my name in there. And I can do it again. Now I can say names two equals, and I'll just start making up names Tom, names three equals Bob, and we'll say names four equals Jen. So now we have an array that has four um, pieces of information, four names. Uh, and the way we can access those is if we say echo and then we do dollar sign squiggly bracket once again I'm pretty sure that's the technical term for it and we go names and then we go inside the brackets here the number so let's say I want Bob who is variable 3 in the array uh, we do that and then we can close the squiggly brackets and we hit enter and we get Bob. If we were to do the same thing and change it to four, we get Jen. If we change it again to one, we get Chris. One way this is useful is if you want to quickly list out uh, everything in an array or a section of the array, you can use the for command as I showed you in the past. So what we'll do is we'll say for i, and i is going to be our variable, in, and then we'll do dollar sign squiggly bracket one dot dot four, and as I showed you in previous videos, this uh, will just output uh, making i equal 1, and then th 2, then 3, then 4, and it will stop at 4. So just to show you that real quick, we'll say do echo dollar sign i, and then done to close the loop. And I missed something here. What did I do wrong? Oh, don't want the dollar sign there. Sorry about that. Like I said, like I always say, I make the mistakes in the video, it saves you the trouble of making the mistake later on. So there we go. With that for command, uh, all we're doing is i equals 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. Now we can take that same command and we can go squiggly bracket names uh, and then inside the square brackets, dollar sign, because the i has to have the dollar sign because it is a variable. And we can go squiggly brackets there, and now we should get a list of names if I typed everything right, and I did. And we can even add to this and say user dollar sign i is, and then we can close the the quotations here. So we get user one is Chris, user two is Tom, user three is Bob, and user four is Jen. So that's a quick look at arrays, very useful for certain things when you come across certain things that you just need to have a list of stuff that you can quickly call by inputting just a number. I mean, they're great, they have many uses. Just play around with them, get used to using them, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, bashscripts.info for more videos like this.